In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head in a live online game of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And one of the ways that you can get better at this game is through subscribing to the channel. Every day we post videos that can help you become a better Madden player, both on the offensive side of the ball, as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so I'd encourage you to subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now I am gonna be running on defense in this game. Uh, my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. If you wanna get the defense, it's gonna be in the description. I'm also running the New York Jets offense. If you want to get that full bunch, bunch tight end and trips tight end offset scheme, that is going to be available in the description. Real quick, one little tip for you in the beginning of games is, you, for number one, you always want to kick the ball off if possible. Um, the second thing that you want to do is in your pre-snap adjustments, one of the things that's been super, super critical for me as far as just getting everything ready pre-snap is the ability to be able to just like pause the game there for that little first segment. And the reason why that matters is because now, as you saw, it gave me about an extra 13 seconds to be able to set up all my adjustments. So um, we're going to start off with our cover four quarters base defense. This is my favorite way to play defense right now in the game. Um, just this cover four is so hard to beat the cover four quarters uh, from the nickel three, three, five wide. It's the cover four show two, I believe is the actual play call name. But as you can see, we got everything bagged right off the top here. It looks like he does have his tight end coming back, but that might be an interception and it is Kevin King. Great defense. We're going to get out and do a little juke at Peninsula. Stop and go. Another juke. Trying to just get some extra yardage. And right here, we are in field goal range. Now, part of competitive Madden, whenever you're playing for – whenever you're – I mean, honestly, whenever you're just trying to win a game, um, there is elements of game management that is super, super important to just be aware of. So, for example, um, I just got an interception. I get the ball at halftime. And so what that basically means is I have – um, gained a possession up on my opponent. Madden is about possessions. And so whenever you can capitalize on possessions, it's actually super, super important. Now, like I said, I'm running my New York Jets um, offensive guide. If you want to get that guide, you can get the whole offense for just 15 bucks, and it is in the description down below. My favorite play in the game right now is this play flood, and really the reason why is just because of how simple it is to run. It's very, you know, there's not very many adjustments that you have to make. And it truly can handle every single defense that your opponent is going to run. And so there's several different setups that we have in the ebook for you if you want to learn, you know, kind of the best way to run this. But this is just such a, it's just such an effective passing concept. Um, it's very simple. It's very easy to execute. And that's what I love about it. Now in this game, I do want to talk a little bit about my schematics on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So the first thing that I want to talk about especially as it pertains to offense, is we talk about the five things you need to do to be successful offensively. You need to be able to have a power play. You need to be able to have a counter play. You need to be able to have uh, a running play and then maybe some like constraint theory plays and things like that. Right here, I'm going to throw a pick. See, and that's really bad by me. I should have checked it down. I, I thought he was doing zone drops. I thought that would sit, and that's just a bad read by me. I could have had the running back option run wide open, and I ended up messing it up. And that's a huge turnover because now we kind of both have – the, the plus one turnovers, whereas if I would have just taken a field goal right there, it would have been you know much, much, much better for me anyway. So um, back to what I was talking about as far as like schematics and everything that I'm doing. On offense, I think there's about five things that you need to be able to do. Number one, you need to be able to have a power play. You need to have like a base play. That's flood for me. Then you need to have a counter play. So uh, a counter play looks very similar to a power play, but it does a lot of the things that the power play might not be able to do for you. So, um, and he's going to throw me another one. Man, that's crazy. Um, so a counter play, you want it to look pretty much exactly the same as your power play, but you want it to go in a little bit of a different direction, maybe threaten some different areas of the field. Um, and so that's where, you know, things like Z spot or Jets dig are very good examples of counter plays. And then after that, you want to have a constraint theory play, a play that you can, once the defense starts to really overextend themselves, you've got something that you can go to that's, you know, maybe not necessarily good on its own, but it's really good once they start to overadjust. And so for me, that's the play mesh out of the gun bunch um, that I can go to. And then obviously you want to have the ability to run the ball. The HB base from the Jets is actually the HB base I think is super, super underrated this year. Um, and see, like here, this is what I should have done last time. Like just playmaker that little hitch and get it out and go. So that's the beauty of, you know, again, and this is my first game of the day, so a little bit slow on the repetitions. 
But anyway, so you want to have like a straight three play. You want to have a running play. And then I believe, you know, you want to have some type of like short yardage play. Now, it could be a red zone play. It could be a play for a, you know, a third and two, something like that. Some kind of short yardage play, you know, that you can go to. So those are kind of my five plays for success on the offensive side of the ball. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, it's a little bit different. Um, and like right here, it's actually good defense by him. We're going to play maker. We almost had that hitch wide open. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, it's a little bit different. Basically, you want to have the ability. What I believe that you want to do is you want to, number one, you want to be able to stop the run. Number two, you want to be able to play, um, you want to be able to blitz. Third, thirdly, you want to be able to play zone drops, right, zone coverage. Um, fourthly, you want to be able to play some type of match coverage. And fifthly, you want to be able to have some man-to-man -man coverages. So you want to have all, all five of those things um, kind of working together to build your scheme. That's one of the foundational principles that I come to the table with. Now, right here, um, the beauty of the Jets playbook is it does have some really, really underrated, like, running plays, especially out of this trips tight end offset. So I'm going to go to this little RPO trap bubble here, just try to get in for six, and I'm able to get on the board. So that was just a simple call right there. It's very, very good. And, again, you want to know that. You want to go going into it. Okay, I've got a couple runs here. You know, I've got the single back wide trips. I've got the, the, the trips tight end offset. I've also got the base, and I've got the inside zone. So I've got a lot of good abilities um, or good plays that I can use to, you know, be successful running the ball against my opponent. Now, defensively, and, and, and kind of coming back to this, uh, like, theory, when I talk about a power play and a counter play, it really comes down to 80-20 analysis. It comes down to saying, okay, of the 80% or of the of the 80% um, of the successful play calls that we have will come from 20% of the plays that we call. And so what that basically means is that we're gonna have a lot of success from just calling a small collection of plays. For me, this cover four quarters base style defense is really that for me. It's, it's the base defense, it's the starting point, it's the foundation. And I'm gonna call this defense probably about 75 to 80 percent of the game until um, I see what you're going to do to obviously beat it then I'm going to shift and maybe run some zone drops or run some other things like that depending on you know kind of what they do what are the things that they do and just like in offense on defense you want to kind of establish that they have certain things open and then eventually what you want to do is you want to take those things away right so you want to have you know, again, you want to have kind of an idea of like, what are the things that they can go to? And then also like, what are the things that, okay, I'm going to be able to stop that. So like right there, he goes back to that delay fade, as you see in the cover four quarters, defense do a very, very good job. So I have to understand if I'm going to be effective on defense, number one, I have to come to grips with the terms of a couple things. The first thing I've got to decide is I've got to understand that I'm not going to be able to stop everything. I have to come to the table with that presupposition. I am not going to be able to, on one play, take everything away all the time. There's going to be openings within defense where it gets... Um, important is you want to decide ahead of time what are those open areas what are the things that we want to be able to say okay we'll give this up but we're definitely not going to give this up those are the big questions to me like right here that out route right there that's probably the most consistent thing like if you were to look at my defense that is probably the most consistent read that i'm going to have a i'm going to tend to give up that right there and that's pretty much it. Like, that's the most consistent read out of bunch that you can get from me. Um, you'll see here the three rec will get out there. Like, right there, like, late. You see how it gets open late. It's not necessarily clearly open. Um, and, like, right, right here, I just missed the running back. I knew he was going to come back over that. And that was just bad defense by me. Um, but, again, we also talk about the importance of having the ability, um, when the time is right, to, you know, just basically be able to give pressure. Right there, he kind of threw me a pick, and I just didn't get it. You see that he's trying to quick step flood. Flood, in my personal opinion, is the probably it's at least one of the top five passing plays in the game. You know, the top five passing plays in Madden, um, if you were to ask me, are probably something like the obviously you've got the the curl flat from trip side in. That's one of the best ones. Uh, PA counter goes another really really good play right there. There's a nice little pick six for us. Um, PA counter go might be there, but I would say trip side and curl flat. I would say gun bunch, and I would say like Jets dig and flood are two of the top five in the game. Obviously, PA boot over, That's I think that's four. And then um, I don't know what the fifth one would be off the top of my head. I honestly think like either curl flat corner or like inside switch, some inside switch, something like that. Uh, would a concept like that would be what I would say there for that fifth one. But let me know in the comments what your top five passing plays in Madden 21 are. 
But anyways, um, as you see here, we're off to a decent start. But it does come back to what is the foundational defense. And whenever um, I was, I was actually watching a video by Zan, and it was he was this was a long time ago, but he was talking about, and I thought it was such a good point that he made. Um, he he's kind of you know just kind of like reflecting back on some years of Madden experience, and what he said was you know every year there's going to be a, you know a defense that is going to cut off about 80% of what everyone does. It's at least the way that I took his statement. And he was talking about it in terms of meta. Now, I would also up in that and say, I think the same is true on the offensive side of the ball. You know, the offense is going to, every year there's going to be an offense that is like supreme. It's, it's very, very effective. And so the reason that I bring that up to you today is I want you to consider with me for just a second that, you know, whenever you're building your defense, whenever you're strategizing and doing all this stuff, it's actually, I think, super, 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 super important. Man, he's got some crazy late, uh, late reads. It's actually super, super important to understand what is your meta. It doesn't have to be everybody else's meta. But what is your what is your 20% play? What is the play that you're going to call that is going to cut off the majority of what people like to do? If you can understand what that is, like for me, it's the cover four quarters, right? Um, it's match defense for me. Whether it be cover four quarters in the big nickel over G, I would say that it's the big nickel over G cover six trap. I think that's one of the best uh, defenses in the entire game. And we're going to be talking about that this week, I think, in the text membership. But my point is, you know, if that's true, if that statement is true, and I definitely believe that it is, if you look at past Maddens, you know, pretty much there's a lot of the time where people are literally just running, you know, a couple of, a small, small, small amount of things then you have to decide whenever you're calling plays, whenever you're building a defense, to build in that philosophy. So you have to understand as a defensive play caller, if I call this defense, what are the vulnerabilities to that? If you don't understand the vulnerabilities of your defense, that is where I believe most people are going to struggle. Because they don't have any clue how to actually build a counter to their power play. Like they have a power play, but they don't have a counter play because they've never really thought about it. Um, that's just something that I think is so, so important um, if you're going to be effective in this game. Right there, nice little play. And that's something that used to work against quarters or doesn't work anymore against it, um, but as you can see. But again, it's you have to understand some of this stuff. If you don't understand where you're vulnerable, how are you ever going to be consistently successful? And so um, part of that is as, as you go about thinking about how you build a defense, we've talked about how to do all of those things. Um, in our defensive guides. We've talked about how to do that in our offensive guides. So if you want to get my full bunch offense, that's going to be in the description. And my full jet or my full uh, 335 wide defense is also down in the description.